Hello, I'm Matthew Smith, one of the librarians here at UEA, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use BMJ Best Practice, sometimes called Best Practice BMJ. Start by clicking Explore My Library, and then select A to Z Databases. From here, select B, and then Best Practice BMJ. Now BMJ Best Practice is an evidence summary site. What that means is essentially you can look up different conditions or different symptoms and get a quick overview of the evidence available. So for example, let's say we're interested in asthma, specifically asthma in children. We'll use the big search box on the first page to start our search and you'll see immediately we get suggestions. So we'll go for asthma in children. This is the overview page of this evidence summary. You'll see across the top that we've got a series of different subheadings that we can look under. But if we scroll down immediately, there's some very useful information very quickly available. For example, we could look at the guidelines. And here you'll find things like nice guidelines, which you can click through to learn more about. You'll also see that this covers not just UK based information, but other areas that may be of interest, for example, the United States. If we come back to the overview page, you'll also see there are patient leaflets that can be printed out or sent to patients to help explain the condition that you're looking at. The format of these will differ slightly depending on the audience and when they were put together. This one's a fairly short and not very exciting one, but there are some that include colour images that are ready to be printed and folded out, a variety basically. If we come back to the overview page, Let's dip our toes into some of the other areas that we might want to look at. One of the key things that you're likely to be interested in is exactly how you treat someone who's presenting with asthma. And if you were to go to the treatment algorithm, you'll get a good sense of what the recommended treatment algorithms are. And you'll see in this case that they're separated by a different age group and then step by step. This is a quick way of finding out what would be recommended to someone with this presentation. You'll find under resources on the right hand side here, a series of images and videos. There's not a huge number on this service, but where you have them, they can be really helpful. Importantly, you'll also find a list of references from which the evidence in this summary is drawn. You may want to follow this up, or you may just want to check roughly where things have come from to reassure yourself that it's relevant and up to date. It's important to note as well on that topic that all summaries should have a date when they were last reviewed and a date when they were last updated. And finally, you may want a PDF copy of the entire summary. You can get that by clicking the PDF button to the top right hand side of the screen and you'll see that you get a nicely formatted pdf with all the information so if you prefer to have it in that format or indeed you want to print it you're able to do that if we go back to the home page we'll have a look at a couple of the other things that may be of interest on here of course there's an awful lot and you'll explore and find the areas that are most useful for you but i want to flag the calculators that you're able to access because these are incredibly helpful if we click on the calculators button, we'll then see an A to Z list of all the calculators available. We can also order these by specialty. But let's say I'm looking for a particular calculator. Here I shall type in some key terms so I know that Grace is going to bring up this calculator. I'm then able to put in the specifics and see what that means in terms of outcome. So really helpful collection of calculators something you might want to browse and possibly make use of while on placements. You'll also find that there's a section for case reports. Now this is by no means the only place we have access to case reports, but if you're wanting to dig a little bit deeper into particular areas, this is a really good place to come. And you'll see that there are various case reports which you can access. These, incidentally, are very good templates if you're considering writing your own case reports from patients that you see while on placement. Because, of course, these case reports have to come from somewhere and you could very happily write up your own experience and attempt to have it published. And we'll just look, finally, at the leaflets. So 
you had the leaflet on the asthma page that we were on previously. Here I'm going to just search all the leaflets and look for information about the COVID vaccines. And that's it. I hope this was helpful. And of course, do feel free to get in touch with your librarian if you have more questions.